So this video is going to be a little bit different. Um, I'm just going to talk about the resources that I've been using to get back into Z80 um, assembly programming. I'll cover some of the books that I've used and also some of the internet resources. So the first book that, um, I've been using is the ZX81 Basic Manual. Um, this is because I'm familiar with this book, or I was at least. Um, so the main section that is, is of interest for Z80 Assembler is the um, one of the appendixes, appendix A, um, which lists the character set. Um, so in this middle column, um, you've got Z80 Assembler instructions um, listed against the um, code 0 to 255. You've got three columns that are relevant. Um, this middle one are the simpler instructions. So you've got, for instance, on on code one, load BCNN, um, where you're loading into the BC registers. Um, code two, you've got load into BCA. So that would load into the location that you've got stored in BC, um, the contents of the A register. Then you've got um, increment BC, which adds one to the um, BC register pair. Increment B just adds one to the B register, and so on. Started off looking at the the simpler instructions. Um, and for what I've done so far, that's all I've really needed. Um, and I'm gradually build up my understanding of the more complex instructions as I go along. Um, I probably did know what most of these did at some point, but obviously I've forgotten. In this fourth column, you've got some of the more complex instructions, or less use at least. Um, so you would use these by having CB, and then, for instance, for this RLCB, you would have CB and then 00. zero. So it's kind of like sh a bit like shift key. Um, to get these instru extra instructions. Um, so this was one of the most useful resources I used when I was learning Z80 originally. And the second one, uh, the second book that I had was um, Understanding Your ZX81 ROM by Dr. Ian Logan. Um, this has explanation of Z80 assembler and uses examples of the Z81 ROM to explain um, how they're used. Um, so this book was very, very well used. Um, not sure if you can get that still, but I've still got my copy. There may be times when you actually do want to call um, parts of the ROM of the computer that you're programming with, whether it's a ZX81 or a Spectrum, um, and having an understanding of the ROM is, is quite a good thing. Going on to some uh, internet links. So this first one by uh, chuntywordpress.com explained how to um, display simple text and graphics. So this was worth a read to start with as you're trying to print graphics. Um, this is a book that I found today. Um, it was one of the key texts on Z80 assembly program by Rodney Zacks. I've not actually read this yet, um, but I probably will uh, look through this at some point. Uh, it's on the Z80 info site. The, the Break Into Program um, website had a, a few useful pages that I found early on, such as um, printing to the Spectrum screen memory. I did mention this in an earlier video, but he gives some examples of um, printing characters. That was worth a look. On the same site, um, this page um, explained this page explained how the screen memory was laid out in the, in the spectrum, which was quite useful. And on the same website again, um, this was an example of how to read from the keyboard, um, explaining the eight ports. Um, I've also mentioned this in another video. And then on, again on the same website, um, there's a list of the, the spectrum character set, which I've not used much yet, but I'm sure will be useful at some point. If you're interested in using a certain Z80 um, instruction, um, z80heavenwiki.com um, has a list of all the instructions. Um, 
So for example, if you want to know what XOR does, um, it gives you an explanation of how it works. Um, so this is quite useful, and here you've got um, what it actually does. So 0 and 0 give 0, 0 and 1 gives 1, 1 and 0 gives 1, 1 and 1 gives 0. This is a YouTube channel by Daryl Sloan. Gave some quite interesting um, examples on learning Z80 machine code. Video, this video is 30 minutes long, so it does go into quite a lot of detail. Uh, on the worldofspectrum.org website, this is the original Sinclair ZX Spectrum manual, which I did read. A lot of it goes into BASIC, but could be pretty helpful for Assembler as well. So again, it's got um, an appendix with a list of these Z80 Assembler instructions, similar to the ZX81 manual. This page on specnext.dev um, explained how to set up an assembly environment, which I, I went through on a previous video. Um, this was very useful. So it's explaining how to set up um, C-Spec emulator, which is what I'm using. So yeah, this is a very good page. The Chibi Akamas website um, has got tons on it, and I was interested in the Z80 um, example that he's got. So it covers not just the Spectrum, but also various other Z80 uh, computers. But um, you can look through for the, um, for the Spectrum examples. I'm not sure about the color scheme on this. This is Chibi Akamas YouTube's uh, channel, um, where he's got um, a playlist on Z80 Spectrum, Z80 assembly programming. Videos going from seven minutes to forty-three minutes. So um, we'll probably look through some of this at some point. Um, this is the hexed.it website, and um, this is a way of, for example, if you've got a binary file, um, like I've got these um, screens, the Camels game, you can load them in and then look at the. Uh, the hex, um, which is quite useful. We'll probably use this more later on. And then you've got, uh, this This is the SJS ASM Plus um, documentation for the, for the assembler that I'm using. Um, and this has got examples as well of, of um, how to use it. So this will come in handy. Um, you've got the Spectrum Computing Forums on spectrumcomputing.co.uk and I was at uh, the point I was looking at this, I was interested in C-SPECT, learning about C-SPECT. So I'd done a search for C-SPECT uh, and I was reading um, through the 58 matches, getting some background information on C-SPECT. Um, schoolkid.github.io, um, complete spectrum ROM disassembly. You might want to use some of these in your assembly um, programming. Um, for instance, if you want to clear the screen, you could call this ROM uh, routine, 0D6B hex. And then finally, um, for just a bit of fun playing around with C-SPECT, um, the world of Spectrum.net website has got an archive of games to play around with. Hundreds of games on here. And that's it for now.